Welcome to this session. My name is Diego Quispe. I'm an innovation architect at Dynatrace. In this session, you will learn how to call the Site Reliability Guardian from Jenkins. To integrate Jenkins with the new Site Reliability Guardian, we will be using the Dynatrace Automation CLI inside a Docker container. This tool allows us to trigger the Site Reliability Guardian from your CI CD pipeline using the Dynatrace workflows. Before we get started, the prerequisites for this integration are the new Dynatrace OAuth credential with the following scope Storage Events Read, Storage Events Write, VC Events Read, VC Events Write, and Buckets Read. You can learn more about the process of generating a new OAuth client in the official Dynatrace account management documentation. A second prerequisite is to already have created a site reliability guardian inside Dynatrace. The final prerequisite is to have a Dynatrace workflow with the Site Reliability Guardian task already added and configured to be triggered based on a VC event that will contain a tag.service and tag.stage values, as you see in the example. For this demo, I have already created a Guardian called CPU Usage, and this Guardian already validates correctly the average CPU consumption for the system. I have also created the workflow with the event trigger tag.service equals demo and tag.stage equals dev. And I have also added the Guardian task, CPU usage, and I'm waiting for the expression time from and time to that is going to be provided by the Dynatrace Automation CLI from the pipeline. Calling the Site Reliability Guardian from Jenkins using the Dynatrace Automation CLI. The first step here is to navigate into the Dynatrace Automation Tools. And here you will find the example pipeline that you can use under Site Reliability Guardian Automation. Scroll down, Jenkins Integration. And in here you will find a complete file sample. This file specifies the pipeline stages that you will need to run your quality gate. And this is the part that is calling new evaluation. You also have a YAML configuration to create the agent in Jenkins. So this is pulling the image, Dynatrace Ace, DT Automation Latest, and it's using the image to create an agent. Then you consume this agent as part of your pipeline, specifying the agent name here. And in these steps, you run the performance test. This is just a placeholder for now that is going to simulate the start time and the end time of the performance test. And it's going to write those values into the storage. Then you retrieve those values in the next step and you use those values at the start and the end time for the evaluation. So you can take everything in here, can select everything, copy that, and then you can go into Jenkins and paste it in here. This is a new Jenkins pipeline and it's consuming Dynatrace information. You need to add the credentials, account URL, client IDs, client secret, SSO URL, and the service name and the stage name. So for my service is going to be called demo. The stage is going to be dep. And I have already added these as credentials. So if I go into my Jenkins Manage Credentials, I have already added the secrets in here. So this will be retrieved when running the pipeline. Finally, you, can, you have to save and you can run the pipeline. Once you run the pipeline, you will get the console output with all the information about the running pipeline. Dynatrace Automation CLI execution, it will send the evaluation request and if everything is successful, it will give you the values in here and it will give you a link so you can check the results of your Guardian in here. So this is the Guardian evaluation, latest one, and the values for my evaluation. So that's it. That's configuring in five minutes Jenkins with the new site reliability Guardian. 